Here is one of the tools I use all the time if someone is going to work with me in person for a lengthy assessment. Guys will come here for three to six, seven hours or for a weekend camp and we're going all day long and they run out of steam. If you wanna throw harder and you wanna train what you need to throw harder and you wanna do it longer throughout the day, eventually your arm taps out and something else can be very valuable. We often use two pound med balls for a lot of different ages. You can use four pounds, but guys tend to slow down their movement and we're more of the camp of getting you to move faster as much as possible. And then for young guys, this works out pretty well, but you can also use like a smaller basketball or something like that. And then you can throw it on against a wall or into a net. What's nice about these is when you put both hands on the ball, you're able to use both arms, you're able to use more of your body, and you're able to get quite a bit out of it, and you can actually sometimes tap into more velocity because you're having to use your whole body to propel this thing that is fairly heavy, especially compared to a baseball. So things we'll have guys do is let's say I'm a lefty and I wanna throw in this direction. I'm gonna start with hands on the side and then the ball going back over my shoulder, almost like I'm going to do an ax, like I'm gonna hit an ax. So it goes back here, or almost like you're doing some kind of crazy motion with your bat, and you'll be here, and then when you go through the motion, you let the ball just kind of hang out, relaxed, back behind you, and then it sits back there, and then you're gonna throw it chop style. So I'm gonna be here, let's say, a good, let's say I just go through the motion. I'm gonna come set, and then I'm gonna create some looseness, kind of get it back here. You don't have to, but it, it helps for some guys back here. I'm gonna lift, it's gonna come behind me, and then I'm gonna propel it with hands on the side like this. A lot of guys will wanna go and push it with one arm, and that actually can add a little bit more stress than you might want. So make sure that the technique is fairly solid. If you need to get a smaller ball, go ahead. Again, these are two pounds. It works good for guys middle school if they're gonna have gone through puberty, but definitely high school and college guys. So come through here, hands on the sides of the ball. So you're kind of thinking, I'm throwing my thumbs at the target here, and then you can go through the same motion as you normally would. What I like about these is one you can throw a lot because you might get tired but you're not going to get fatigued in your arms like you would with throwing a baseball and then two you can really really work on intensity so you're using your whole body and then you're just going all out trying to just push this thing through a wall through a net and we'll often tell guys that are throwing it to a wall that you are trying to break this thing and after a while these things do break so there is a possibility that you could break it on one of your throws so you can start adding these for a pretty low cost to almost any of your drills good luck and make sure you are subscribed to this page so you can get more healthy velo tips